Hi, I'm Al Sutherland with your Mesonet Weather Report. Wednesday, weather eyes were on dropping air temperatures across Oklahoma. At 410 Wednesday afternoon, Bernieville was holding on to a 50 degree air temperature. Out at Boise City, it was 20 degrees. Across the state, the change from Tuesday to Wednesday afternoon was two degrees warmer at Bernieville, while most of the state came in four to 10 degrees colder. Boise City was 11 degrees colder. Wind speeds varied with very light winds in the southeast blue areas to upper teens in the yellow areas. Hinton had the highest wind speed 20 miles per hour. The colder air temperature and wind combined to push down the cattle comfort index across much of Oklahoma Wednesday at 4.10 p.m. While it was mild at Bernieville with a cattle comfort index of 42, out near Boise City the cattle were dealing with a frigid cattle comfort index of minus two. Two days earlier on Monday, December 5th, cattle near Boise City were enjoying a balmy 74 degrees. The quick change from mild to cold conditions places an added stress on cattle health. Here's Gary with a look back on our fall rainfall and expanding drought conditions. Thanks, Alan. Good morning, everyone. Well, winter is officially here. I think we'll all agree it was bone chilling cold this week. Uh, unfortunately, drought has never left. So while winter arrived, drought's been an unwelcome visitor for the last four or five months. Let's take a look at the latest drought monitor map and see what we have. Not a lot of changes. We still have that uh, severe to extreme drought down across the southeastern Oklahoma and the moderate uh, drought up into northwestern Oklahoma into the Panhandle. A little bit of uh, severe drought up that way and now we have a little bit of severe drought up uh, just to the northwest of Oklahoma City. Um, so this is an area that we're watching uh, for drought development. Um, as you can see from the days with less than a quarter inch rainfall from the Oklahoma Mesonet, um, we do see still across some parts um, nearly 90 days, probably 90 days by the time you see this, with less than a quarter inch of rain on any single day in some of those areas. So those are the danger areas where we uh, look for possible drought development. Now we look at the 90 day rainfall accumulation from the Nesnet, we do see lots of those nice red and orange colors, but we do see up in the northwestern parts of the state, um, those blue and greens, those are less than three inches of rainfall in some areas, uh, some cases less than an inch. Um, then across uh, central and uh, east central Oklahoma, those other green areas, those are areas of uh, not as good moisture over the last 90 days. When we look at that versus the normal rainfall, so percent of normal rainfall over 90 days, it shows up very clearly. Good rainfall down across uh, southwestern Oklahoma, some parts of south central Oklahoma, but across much of eastern, central, and especially northwestern Oklahoma, we just need more rainfall. Drought might not develop or intensify as rapidly, but it's also tougher to get rid of. So we just have to have, we need to have some really good uh, wet systems come through and start to knock that drought out and we'll be in good shape for spring. That's it for this week. We'll see you next time on the Mesonet Weather Report.